I've had the opportunity to watch the work of the patient safety movement over the last 10 plus years and have our health system here at UPMC become very committed to the evidence-based practices. It's been a, a journey of continuous improvement and seeing safer outcomes for our patients. And so there's been a lot of things that we've implemented as a result of the evidence-based practices that I'm particularly proud of. Uh, they start with very simple things like infection reduction. Infections uh, across some of our most complex and critically ill patients from little babies in the NICU at the age of 24, 25 weeks to people that are facing some of the toughest challenges in transplantation across the country that receive care here, that preventing infection in those individuals is keeping them alive. The other thing that we've really worked on though is the culture of safety. Um, it is a culture and it's a culture that has to be driven by leadership and so we as an organization have deeply embraced the culture of safety and have implemented the just culture for us which is our way of saying you know we want to hold people accountable but we also want to make sure we're focused on systems and not people as it relates to the source of errors and the opportunities to improve we actually use our just culture algorithm as a part of every root cause analysis we are a large health system in pennsylvania maryland and new york but we have a lot of remote small rural hospitals and one of the regions has actually experienced a reduction in the overall mortality rate in the region for stroke as a result of some of these interventions that we were just referencing. And that, that's when you really know you've made a difference in your community and the lives that you work to save. We learn every day, we grow every day, we try to take all of the knowledge that we can and implement it so that we're saving as many lives as possible and we're uh, promoting the, the health and welfare of our employees and our patients.